Hi there Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your July 1st through the 15th love reading. This is intended to be a love reading. What do we have for Virgo? First week of July, there you are. Things happening fast. Perhaps there's a little bit of chaos. A little bit of happy chaos, maybe. Um, so this is the week of July 1st through July 15th. Um, this is a love reading. It looks like at the very beginning of the week there's been some kind of betrayal and perhaps somebody has walked away in disgust. Could be you, could be somebody else. Um, and they just don't want to have anything to do with the situation anymore. And that's at the beginning of July. And there you are as the second card. You're just as calm and collected as ever. You can take care of yourself just as well. Um, so whatever's going on, you know, you don't, there's no issues really, you're fine. Um, I have, I see that there is some quick energy. Um, something is, is happening still at, in the middle of the week, the first week of July. Um, there's still a little bit of chaos going on. Um, maybe there's some communication still that's causing some, um, Disarray. All right. This is towards the middle of the first week of July. Um, and we're talking about love here. It looks like there's been some kind of, um, or there's going to be actually, this isn't, there has been, there is going to be some kind of, um, breakthrough. You're going to have a breakthrough by the end of the week in regards to your happiness. Perhaps you're finally going to be a lot closer to your own happiness and, and really, really, really feeling good about yourself. Um, yeah, I think that you're going to really feel really good about yourself towards the end of the first week of July. But where's the love? Mm. Wow. It's whatever you want, you can have. Just saying. This is a very huge, powerful time for you. Huge. Okay, first of all, I just have to shout out that we have these four ones. These four ones in your reading for these two weeks. This is a huge, powerful energy being gifted to you, okay, from the universe. The universe has has, has your back these two weeks, okay? Um, you are being handed all kinds of gifts. You're being handed the gift of um, clarity, of truth. You're being handed the gift of love, even if it's of loving yourself. You're being handed the gift of enthusiasm, um, new beginnings, um, new partnerships, okay? You're being handed the gift of 
abundance and security. I mean, these, and they are true gifts from God, the universe. Powerful energy, raw potential, okay? Raw. That's what this is. It's brand new, and you it's a chance to start over something big. A new start in love. A new start could be a partnership. This could be a sexual partner or a business. This is a new start on your abundance journey, on your security journey. A brand new start, okay? Um, now, just beware, as I've told the other signs, these two weeks are very powerful with the new, with the new, with the full moon in Capricorn. And of course, you have Capricorn right in the middle of your reading. So all this tells me is that they are going to be very, very, um, the moon energies are going to be very prominent for you, okay? Um, and their sex, the sexual desires, and this is coming up a lot for a lot of my readings, the sexual desires are going to be very, um, prominent, okay? They are. Um, there's just, it's a, it's a time, a high time of, uh, fulfilling your own needs um, right now during this period. So this card right here is saying, this devil in the middle, is saying that you are going to need to hone in your um, demons per se, your own inner demons. You're going to need to um, keep hold of your desires because Everybody's desires are going to be at a very high level, and um, your power to manifest right now is extreme, extreme with all these ones. 11, 11, I mean, that's basically what you have, 1, 1, 1, 1. I mean, your power to manifest, and, and with the new moon in Capricorn, Capricorn is about power, control, manipulation, obsessions, okay? And that's what's coming in right now in these two weeks, and it's right in the middle of your reading. So beware, okay? You're going to need to control yourself. You're going to need to have self-control over something. Could be a sexual addiction, could be a drug addiction, could be any kind of addiction. The fact of the matter is, is you're going to have to have control of it, okay? Even if that means you have to be in isolation, <laughs> Um, I think you're just, you know, you, there's a lot of energies. You're feeling a lot of energies. You're going through a period of healing, okay? And you're going to be going through a period of hope. And you have finally decided to follow your own path. You don't have any fear. You're not going to let somebody block you, okay? You've, you've taken a step okay, to releasing a blockage and you started the healing process. And that's why all these gifts are handed to you because the universe and God and angels and spirits, they can see that you have taken the steps. I think you have. Or you're about to take the steps because this is in the beginning of July. Um, this is about following your own truth with no fear, with no fear, okay? following your spiritual path and this is about acting on it okay definitely a time of renewal after following your yourself after following your spiritual journey a time of renewal a time of healing and you and I think that you heal very quickly you do you heal very quickly you bounce back you know um and you have desires just like everybody else in the middle of your reading. Um, obsessions, perhaps? And here you are. You're here and here. Could be another um, earth sign. Could be part of your new love, your new adventure. Seriously, this could be another earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Okay. This is the most beautiful lineup I've seen in a while. Anyway, um, it's unbelievable. The power. Oh my God, you are loaded with power. Remember, your thoughts become things because whatever you... This is the 11-11 in these two weeks. 
your power. The power is huge. Your thoughts become things. Be sure to keep your thoughts positive. If a negative thought comes in, change it very quickly. If um, somebody, because there's a, there's a strong potential for fights during this time and animosity and strong words and um, it's just a dangerous full moon, okay? So um, just be careful. But I feel like you are protected. Absolutely, I feel like you are protected. Your thoughts become things. That's a big, big, big message. During these two weeks. You have the chance to meet another person. And that brings you out of isolation and makes you feel great. Makes you feel like you can totally be yourself. It's a warm, inviting um calm beautiful um bright situation okay it's a that's what it is probably with this person and it's it could end up being true love with i mean this is a new partnership a new sexual partner a new welling of love and a new uh, breakthrough a new truth let's just get three of these This is July 1st through the 15th, love reading for Virgo. Looks like if Virgo wants some love, all they have to do is think about it and it will come. But you know, real it won't really be love, it will be lust. Because love doesn't, I mean, usually doesn't happen just like that. It might be lust at first, and I do see some lust. And I see that it could happen very quickly because of the energies. It could be like, um, don't come near me. <laughs> Because, you know, the, the lust is so strong. We have a Taurus. So we have Taurus twice. We have Taurus here and we have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo here. I believe that you're here as the Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. And this is man or woman um, for either one of these. This is a Capricorn. Um, so you probably, you could have a Capricorn in your life or you're... You have a strong Capricorn in your chart. Okay, this is Aquarius. This is a fire sign. I think I already told you, Taurus. This is Virgo. So this is you connected to this. That makes complete sense. I just caught that. Things are going to happen quick. Yep. Be careful because the, the draw is going to be so strong that it's uncontrollable. And the energies are so powerful. I mean... There's potential for people to get hurt or um, manipulated, okay? There is. Just be careful. And because you're feeling so good about yourself, you have no shame. You're like, woo-wee, I'm free. I feel beautiful. I mean, here and here, and you're like, yeah. You know, so you're feeling so good, so you know that you might be a little vulnerable because you're so ready for this abundance and security and this new partnership and this love and this clarity. Okay, you're ready. Your thinking is already clear. I think this was the first one you got. Great sadness. Take time to heal. Didn't I just tell you a little while ago that this was about healing? The need to forgive yourself or others. What you are going to do, and I think you're going to do it pretty quick, quickly. Okay? I do. King of Wands. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. It's right here. Okay? So this is just saying for you to... Um, be charismatic, be ambitious, be motivational, be idealistic, um, be wise. Make wise decisions, think about them. 
think about your decisions try to anyway the energy might be so strong that you might you know forget to think just saying so just this is just a reminder to that your thoughts become things in that you need to focus try not to be impulsive just try not to be and usually you're not so, but this energy is so strong. It's affecting every single person. It is even the the 99 year old. You know, it, this energy is so strong that every single person is going to be affected by it. This is in the middle of your reading, okay? And it's connected to you. And this is the moon is in Capricorn, and I'm and it's going to affect you in a very big way. There's going to be some chaos, okay? And you're going to have to rein in your um, desires, per se. Could be addictions, could be obsessions. You're going to have to keep it under, under control. Here we go. That's perfect. Keep it under control. That's what this guy does. He's the leader. He's the boss. He's the king of his uh, country. Okay? He's in control. That's what I just got done saying. Keep it in control. That's your advice. Keep it in under control. Because things could get out of hand. And with this dangerous full moon, Capricorn, July 2017, full moon, if you want to look it up. Look up the energies. It's a very dangerous energy where, you know, people could get manipulated. So, don't let anybody take your control, all right? It's yours. You keep it. Virgo, that's what I have. I don't feel like I need to pull any more. I feel like... Um, this is what I have for you for these next two weeks, and I wish you the very, very best.